Hey y'all, it's Courtney, and I am back with another video, and today, I'm gonna do, like, a current events, I don't know why I did the air quotes, because I'm doing a literal current events video, <laughs> um, let's not get ourselves here, probably won't have comments, I, I don't know anymore, I just, I don't know what to do at this point, kind of getting used to not having comments, and whenever I do have comments, it's like a rare treat. So, I hope I do. But since I'm putting on makeup, I probably won't. Putting on makeup is like one of the most wholesome things that you can do. But yet they shut off my comments every time I do it. So, Mama, help me, help me. She hasn't talked to me for like two hours now. But of course, she heard me say a word. So now she needs me. Hold on. What, Autumn? Okay. At least she listened, because she wanted something out of her closet in her bedroom, one of, uh, one of her buckets of toys, and her dad told her that there was glass in there, which there was. Um, she was afraid to get in there, though, because she thought there was glass in there, so. I mean, at least she listened and asked me for help instead of breaking something. It's not in there anymore, but um, obviously I took all my... We took all the storage stuff out of there and put her stuff in there. So, but I'd rather her ask me for help anyways than just tear everything out. So, whatever. But anyways, so, um, I don't know exactly where I was. I'm just going to start with, uh, so we'll just start with the fact that for the first time in ever, I agreed with Nick. Is this real life right now? I literally have been asking that question for like six months now. And nobody will answer me. Like, <laughs> is everything that's going on really happening? Or is this like, things have just, like, Everything that was, like, kind of shitty at first has snowballed into, like, what is happening right now? And that's just how I feel about so many things. And then whenever I agreed with Nick on something, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> but anyways, um, I think a lot of people agreed with him. I don't agree. I don't even, I don't even, uh, first off. I'm just, I'm going to get started with my makeup. Um, I'm going to go on with this purple. First off, I will say, I don't know what Bergs did. Uh, I'm sure he was being Bergs. Annoying, mouth running, um, Bergs. Who was clearly mentally unstable. Clearly. I mean, anybody can see that Bergs is mentally unstable. Um, and I hate that argument. Well, then he shouldn't be on the internet. You can't tell who, you can't tell people they're not allowed on the internet. You can't. Everybody, unless you are a offender of the young, they can't tell you not to be on the internet. I'm sure there are special cases, but you know what I'm saying. Um, very rare case are they going to tell somebody that they're not allowed to be on the internet. Especially just for being mentally ill. Um... Does he say some nasty things? Well, sure. But, you know what? In this community, who hasn't? Fuck. Um. But I just... What's that channel called? Dang it. It has, like, the Mortal Kombat fighters in it. Somebody put... It, if I have comments, somebody put the name of that channel down um, in my comment section. So, if anybody's not subscribed to them, go subscribe to them because... If you're like me and you're a mom and you know you're in bed by a certain time which usually I stay up a little late but last night I didn't sleep well the past couple nights before that so last night I was fucking out um, and so I watched the little replay of what happened and you know what I agree with Nick on almost everything he said, almost, except for at the end when he 
you know, started dropping in bombs. And I even, I don't think it's okay that he was saying that, but I understand what he was doing. He was saying, pick on somebody who is mentally capable of arguing with you. If you want to pick, if you want to dox somebody to Antifa, do it to me. Because I can handle it. That's what he was saying with that. I don't think he should have said what he said. But once again, I, I get what why he said what he said. Um, because it is wrong to... And if you guys don't know what happened, apparently Berg said something shitty. Berg's is always saying something shitty. And somebody said that they were going to, um, basically dox him to Antifa. So I'm guessing he said something about BLM or something like that. Um, like I said, I don't know what he said. I'm sure it was shitty. I'm sure I probably wouldn't agree with what he said. But it's besides the point. It's the point that, um, some people are just low-hanging fruit. And they're always saying something that could get them in, you know, some hot water. It doesn't make it okay, but do you really want to pick on low-hanging fruit? Or would you rather fight, or not fight, but like, would you rather white knight for, or not, what words am I looking for? Words. <laughs> words right now. Um... Would you rather choose a battle that you can win legitimately, like, uh, with your mind power? Because a fight with him is easily won, because he's low-hanging fruit. And to say that, yes, you agree with doxing a mentally ill man, to people that are willing to kill for their cause. That's <laughs> that's just as bad as what he said, I'm sure, to begin with. So it makes you just as bad. And then the fact that, you know, she did say that Kim Fisher was doing something illegal. And I don't even care because maybe Kim Fisher shouldn't have recorded calls. She shouldn't have. I don't I I would never do that. Um almost everybody in this community does shit that I wouldn't personally do. But the point is, is that she's a fucking hypocrite, and she always turns right around and does the same shit that she jumps up on her high horse about, making a live stream about Negs being an alcoholic. Bruh, are, are you joking right now? She made another uh, live stream about somebody going after kids. Bro, are you joking right now? I think she made a few live streams about people saying things about her kids. You said the nastiest shit I have ever heard a mother say about children. So, jump off your fucking horse. Because I don't even know how you have it. I don't even know how you got a horse. You probably stole it. That's how low you are. So anyways, just wanted to get my point across to why... I agree with the sentiment of what Nick said. Um, so, on another note, my cat, the one that, you know, didn't come out from under the couch for like three or four days when we first got her, and we thought that, you know, she wasn't going to fit in because uh, she's really, she's wild. Yeah, well, now she uh, runs back and forth through the house, same as Autumn does. Back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. Jumps in the sink while I'm doing my makeup every day. Knocks my makeup down. Just knocked all my earrings down into the bathtub. I mean, she's, she's a real, uh, she's a real pleasure. I mean, she is. We love her, but she's fucking crazy. She has went from, like, shy and terrified to just wild in the completely opposite sense, like, little crazy cat, constantly playing, and, um, I think, I don't know, I know she was wild when the other people got her, but I don't 
I don't know if they didn't have her long enough for her to like open up or or what, but she just turned out to be a good little kitty. And she doesn't hide from Autumn anymore. Shit. This is shit I'm talking about. Like I I am pretty sure that what happened to her was she was so malnutrition when we got her. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but when somebody is, uh, Anna, um, when your body gets to a point of starvation, it starts shrinking your brain. And I kind of believe that she's, she was at that point because she was really clumsy. She would fall on her head. She would just like wobble all the time. And you got it. And anybody knows that cats are usually very sleek and, you know, um, graceful. And this cat, like, as you can see, she just knocked everything over in the bathtub, ran into the door instead of past me. She had room, but she ran into the door instead. Um, she has no grace. So, I think that, uh, she's starting to get, you know, her, um, whatever, but I think that, um, her brain definitely was affected. Anyways, so, on to the next, next subject. Let's talk about Jake Paul getting raided by the FBI. What? And I saw a video of, like, fucking a small army going to his home. Like, literally, small army. There was, like, dudes hanging on each side of both, like, four or five different trucks. Hold on, I just heard my kid yell again. Hold on, just I forgot to say that I'm putting this right here in my crease. Um, anyways, so, yeah, Jake Paul. So, yeah, there was, like, a small army that went to his house. They found all kinds of guns. Don't know what exactly they were looking for, but I do know that that friggin' weirdo that, like, uh, what, what is it called? It's his manager uh, Armani, or whatever, who has, like, all kinds of battery charges, and, like, has been accused by all kinds of his working girls, um, of, like, being waterboarded, and beaten, and tortured, and has admitted himself that if he gets mad at one of his girls, he will 86 them from every establishment in, I think he said Las Vegas, maybe it was California, I don't know. But basically, he will stop them from working if, you know. He says that he's not a PIMP and that he doesn't do that, that he just uh, gets girls to go to parties and dance and that kind of stuff. But y'all know that's a fucking lie. 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 Um. But they also raided his house. Some people think that it's having to do with the fact that he is, like, that, B-I-M-P. Some people think it's to do with that. Some people think it's to do with Jake Paul being recorded in the looting and um, riots and all that stuff. That, I'm not so sure of, simply because, like, they're not going after anybody else that's been clearly filmed they're letting people go like time like they've let certain people go like four and five and six times for like rioting based offenses so clearly they're not too worried about the people that are rioting and looting and breaking things and um that must not be a big deal to them right now. So, I don't think it's anything to do with that, honestly. Unless, maybe, they are going after him because he is well-known and they're going to make, like, an example out of him. Maybe. 
but I, I don't think so. I think it's something bigger than that. I think it's something much bigger than that. I think they were looking for something on his computers or maybe his, and apparently he owes $2 million in taxes too. I don't think the FBI would care about that, but I'm pretty sure somebody's going to care about that because that's a lot of money that the IRS is missing out on. They don't like missing out on money. So, that's a whole nother set of issues that he's probably going to be looking at. I don't know why these people get so big and so I'm working with this color now on the end. I don't know why people get so big and so... famous, I guess? And then shoot themselves in the foot. Like, just do your best to not be a douche, you know? My thing is, like, everybody falls from grace, though. So if I'm gonna fall from grace... I'm going to do it in the most what I mean? elegant way possible. Like, if I fall from grace, I want it to be for something not that bad. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I don't do bad shit. If I fell from grace right now, which <laughs> I'm not famous, obviously. But if I were, you know what my fall would be from? Shit that I did 10 years ago in my active addiction and you know what I'd be fine with that because I would say listen that's who I was then now I'm this person I'm clean I have a clear head I would never do those things today and I really didn't even do that bad of things 10 years ago um I never broke into houses I never can't really think of anything that would like ruin my name I got a shoplifting ticket from Walmart one time, so that's like the worst thing I did. Oh, and I got a, I had stuff on me one time, but a male officer patted me down without a woman, without a female presence, so they kind of had to let that go. I don't know if it shows up on my record, but you know what? I was a drug addict. I had drugs on me. I was a drug addict. <laughs> what, I mean, what else do I say about that? Um drug addicts usually have drugs so I can't really even say what I don't know these days though opinions are enough to knock you off of your um boom god words today I swear uh Jake Paul though has been riding that line for a very long time. He's lucky he hasn't fallen already. And I think right now is about when everything's going to come crashing down for him. Um, and it might be because of somebody else. It might not even be what he was doing. That Armani dude is fucking violent. There's videos of him in the background of either Logan Paul or Jake Paul's at one of their videos of him like fighting other people in the house and uh, one of the people that was recording and he was trying to go after them and all they were doing was just standing there but he was pissed off that they were recording I guess made him look like a little bitch so you know he had to go after them too and then somebody tackled his ass and like he just shows his ass every chance he gets he's he's he likes to put hands on people, which I don't like a motherfucker like that anyways, who thinks that they have the right to put their hands on anybody, because that is not your right to touch anybody else, ever. I mean, I understand fights happen, but somebody who thinks that they can just, you know, treat anybody the way, whatever way they feel like, I don't like a person like that. The only reason why anybody would be around him, he's one of those people that has to have a lot of money because otherwise nobody would want to be around him. He has to keep up with appearances because otherwise nobody would have him around. Because he's just an asshole. So, I don't know. I have a feeling that this is more about that dude than Jake Paul. But... Jake Paul involved himself with him, so 
whatever happens now, <laughs> nothing you can do about it now, bud. So, is there anything else I wanted to talk about today? I know there was one other thing, I just can't think of what it was. Oh, and those of you that really care about me and really love me and are here because, you know, for me, I'll talk about this now because it's been like 15 minutes if you're still watching then you care about my personal life so talked about this person a lot on this channel and about the things they've done to me and the horrible things they did to me the cheating the beating the you know sleeping with my family members right after I lost a baby I mean just awful terrible things Okay, well, this person just got out of prison, and decided that it was a good idea to try to contact me. Alright, apparently he was out once already, and immediately started talking to my family members and asking about me, specifically my little nephew, which, if you're going to ask about me to somebody, why... My nephew, come on, maybe he thought that he was the only, a kid would be the one that he could get the most info out of, because a kid doesn't know to say, I don't, I'm not telling you anything. So, he's sending me friends requests, and then yesterday, or the day before yesterday, because um, I told Mike about it, because I don't want him to feel like I'm hiding anything. I didn't want to tell him about it, because it would stress him out for no reason, like, there's literally no reason. What does this dude think? Like, it's been nine years now. Me and Mike been together for eight, and we were broken up for at least eight or nine months before I even knew Mike existed. So, and he tries to tell people that I left him for a convict. <laughs> How'd that work out for you? First off, I didn't even know about Mike, whenever we split up, I split up because what you did to me. Uh, anyways, I, I don't want to get into that. Point being, like, what does he think? It, does he think I should just be friends with him? Does he think... Like, in that situation, what would make you think that that's an appropriate thing to do? Especially when your ex has moved on, married has kids, is in a happy marriage, what would make that seem like a good idea? I say this at least two or three times a day about people, like, what made that seem like a good idea to you? But really, in this situation, like, what did he think was going to happen? <sighs> so, I, I text his sister, I'm like, hey, can you please tell him to leave me alone? I don't want to be mean about this, but I'm not having this. You know, I'm, I am married. This is inappropriate. And he should know, he should understand that. If he really cared about me ever, if he ever cared, even the slightest bit about me, he would see that leaving me alone is the best thing that he could do. And it, to me, it's really selfish and shows how selfish he is that he's even trying to contact me. It shows that he only cares about himself and what he wants. So, my sister said, we'll just block him and I'll talk to him. So then yesterday, I don't know if I said it, I messaged his sister two days ago. So then yesterday, talking to my brother and he's like, oh, you'll never guess who knocked on my door. I was like, let me take a guess and you know who i guessed we'll call him i don't know him <laughs> um i probably said his name on here before but i don't feel the need to say it um and he said yeah how, i guess you know that he's around i said oh yeah he's you know Oh, and his sister also said, just go ahead and block him. So I did. Um, 
which I, I already planned on doing. But my brother's like, yeah, I guess you know he's around then. And I was like, yep, he's already been sending me friend requests and shit. I think the day after he got out is when he sent me the friend request. And, um, there was a request in my folder and I just deleted it. I didn't even read it. Nothing like that. So, I don't want nothing to do with that situation. Like, I don't know if it's because his mind is stuck 